Welcome back to the UGF Pandas. I'm finally healthy again. Hopefully you can hear it in my voice. In this episode, we got a nice matchup against Nebraska, the Cornhuskers. Nebraska has the higher rated team, but Kirk's saying, get that corn out of my face because he's going with UGF. We have the number one turnover differential in the nation right now, and that's mainly because we have not turned the ball over. Their quarterback looks intense, seven touchdowns to no interceptions. On our side of things, we flip-flop between Andre Avery to Ken Burks. Uh, that was a coaching decision by me. Not everybody's agreeing with it, but he's been pretty efficient. Four touchdowns, no picks, and I don't believe any turnovers at all for him. Pretty solid game manager so far. Well, look at that. Ken Burks and Andre Avery both go up awareness points and it boosts up their overall each a point as well. Really fighting for that starting quarterback job, both of them. The number one guy in the nation, Brian Hagen, and we're running away with him. Let's fully scout him, see what he really is. 78 overall. Oh, we got ourselves a bust. But he can still catch pretty well, so I, I don't think that's really that big of a deal. Ooh, this guy's going up though. 82 catching, just gonna move him up. We got a guy ready to visit, this middle linebacker. We have five options total. Three of them are bye weeks. Right now he's a little past 50%, so I'm going to try and put him on Southern Miss because I feel like he's so far along in the process that we got to get this guy as soon as possible. All we have to do is sack the quarterback twice with the linebacker. Shouldn't be too hard. Wow, we've dropped all the way down to number eight in the toughest places to play, even though we still have the longest home win streak in the country. That might be because we only have two home games the entire season. So I don't blame them. They're better than us in every single category. These usually end up for some entertaining matchups. We have the 99th ranked rush offense in the country. I felt like we weren't that bad. Like we average a lot per carry, but we just don't run it enough to be efficient. Defense is terrible, especially the pass defense. 111th in the country. Boy, this ain't that championship defense from last year. Not even close. 99 overall center, 96 strong safety, and a 95 quarterback. Always fun to play against a well-balanced team. I'm excited for this game. Whoa, this is going to be dope. That looks really awesome. All the red in the stands. Well, on one hand, I'm, I'm terrified, but it looks absolutely beautiful. Second in passing touchdowns. Fourth in passing offense. And we have like one of the worst pass defenses in the country. This ain't going to end well. The Cornhuskers. I love the buildings in the background. It really adds to the scenery of this place, I guess you could say. First game against a Big Ten team since Ohio State in season one. Will Smith, Brandon Nichols, the captains for this game. Fullback you being represented well. Give it a good old boot, JP. These boards are kind of weird. They have one in the left, one on the right, one in the other left and right, and then they got one giant one in the middle. Five screens, seems a bit much. Oh, Connor Hoffman got blocked. And he's already getting to the secondary. 20 yards on the ground on their first play. They're a pass team, but they're running it a lot here to start. Thankfully, we had Rory Alston to stuff that one for a one-yard loss. Oh, this one's a play action. And I just completely whiffed with Taylor Smart. That's not even on him. I just ran around the guy. Whoa, diving catch while getting hit. What a grab from Ryan Long. Because Taylor Smart can't tackle. I'm sending him on the blitz. Hits the quarterback. But this guy's way too talented. Gets it off before. And they get a first down. This is a much tougher test than we've seen all season. Last week was a neutral side game. This one, we're in a hostile environment. And we have not showed up on defense. Wow, that's like three first downs in a row for the Cornhuskers. Right, let's run commit this time. Let's see if we can get there. Thomas Moore, 6'7 linebacker in the backfield. Okay, not in the backfield, but they get one yard. Nobody's open. Maybe that guy? I tried to get there, but wow, this guy is a freaking rocket. Oh, they're coming out in Wildcats? I'm not even sure how to attack this. Straight up the gut, Connor Hoffman, who is an absolute beast on the goal line, shuts him down. They score first. At least we managed to hold them to just three. Oh, look at that. Kansas upset number 13, Rutgers. Good for them. Justin Thomas has been amazing this season in the return game. Expect a lot from him in this one. I kind of messed that up. Hopefully we can run the ball against this defense. We really need these running backs to carry me. Okay, that's not a good start. Zero yards. Daniel Sanders got it. Oh, tried to do the step back. He got his knee exploded by the corner. Should be easy. Okay. Managed to get one guy to miss, and we got six yards. 
Can we get a block? Come on, Brandon Nichols. You got to get there. We got A.J. Nichols. Almost picked off. Undercut the route. I can already tell. This is going to be a tough environment to play in. They, they got in my head on that last drive. Saquon Jones hunting at him. What a tackle. Freshman making a big play. Screen pass. Connor Hoffman with the user pick. And he's going to get the return. Pick six. What a play. That's Nehemiah Fowler kind of played right there. He's known as mainly a guy who can wrap up a tackle. But what an acrobatic play. Picking off the quarterback and managed to stay on his feet to take it for six points the other way. That's why we're the number five team in the country. Right after that interception, let's see if we can get in this quarterback's head again. He's trying to scramble. Oh, he stripped him. Thomas Moore. Back-to-back -back turnovers for the defense. Let's go. Definitely affecting their QB's confidence after that. Defense once again stepping up, giving us the momentum. Whoa, it got popped. Are you okay, Marcus Holly? Hand off to the backup. Oh, he got the juke. Managed to extend it for four yards. Third and one. No secret what we're about to do right here. Brandon Nichols pick up the first. Got tackled right as he touched the ball. And he still managed to extend his way for the first. They ran Wildcat on us. Let's run it on them. This time we're going to use Dan Vessio. I feel like he's the more explosive back. Can we get the block from Marcus Holly? Wow. Please help out your teammate instead of just running away. Oh, we got Bo Henderson. He's destroying that corner. Not able to get to the end zone. Pushed him out of bounds. Nice job from Ken Burks to stay in the pocket and throw a dot. Let's go, Ken Burks. That's not going to be a touchdown. Doing their usual cheese with the three defensive linemen stacked up on my center. Not going to stop me, though. Fullback Nation. Not going to score. Well, crap. Fullback dive didn't work. They look like they're ready for this. Now we're going to throw it here. No QB sneak. Stand in the pocket, tried to throw it, and it goes down. They get the goal line stand on the Pandas. The chip shot, J.P. Stevenson is on the money. 10-3. Going to the corner. This guy's going to go out of bounds. Kind of a waste of a play for him. Once again to the corner. This guy stays in bounds. Throws off my corner, and Will Smith drags him down for the first down. QB keeper, I missed. When Willie Green's a fast one, he's able to catch up and bring down the quarterback. But once again, not before he gets the first. Over Hoffman's head. Thought that was going to be his second pick of the game. Well, we're sending a lot of pressure. They're O-line. I thought we were going to get them, and they beat us. Will Smith misses, but he recovers. Tackles him before he gets to the end zone. Looks like he's targeting a fan out there because this one's through the uprights. And off, and we're ready for that one. What the? <laughs> the guy was not going to hit the floor, was he? He's wide open. Grand cover two, but we forgot about the corner. And with that extra point, they tie this game up with 545 left in the half. We're going to throw it to Sanders right here, and he makes a great catch. Perfect throw from Ken Burks. We're going to go to this drag. The fullback with the huge cut to get us the first and keep the drive alive. Sanders again with guys draped all over him. He makes another beautiful catch. Oh, can't make the guy miss. While Ken Burks is very fast at 90 speed, he's not very elusive. That was a dud. Marcus Hawley is not having a good game. Five carries, 18 yards. AJ Nichols can't make the catch because I threw off my back foot. I was looking at Bo Henderson, and I saw him just like glitch back. Fourth and nine, so it's pretty far to try and go for it. So I'm just going to take the points. J.P. Stevenson, wow, right down Main Street. Across the middle, can we stop him? Nope. And the middle is continues to be open. Taylor Smart is not a good coverage guy. Might have to go to like a dime or a nickel. Oh, they try to do a read option. Will Smith, the safety, is in the backfield. Ah, oh, that's my guy. I messed that one up. 
Dude dropped it. I don't see anybody open. Come on, Mike. That should have been a pick. They got the lucky animation. Some tight coverage. And he still catches it. Across the middle, Connor Hoppin got blocked. 84 is destroying us this game. They ran the draw play on us. Perfect play call for them. They almost scored on that. And off to their fullback, Dudu. They score and they take the lead. You'd think fullback University would be able to stop the fullback, but not this time. Let's go. Come on, Justin Thomas. You can outrun these guys. Or not. 51 yards, not bad. Gives us great field position to start off this drive. I do want to score, and I definitely don't want to give them some time to score after we do. So we're going to be running the ball a lot on this drive. Out of the shotgun, Marcus Hawley with a great run. Back-to-back -back huge runs for him. Oh, no, Mike Holt is out for the game. This is our top defensive end. You definitely don't want to hear that. Sticking with the running game, Marcus Hawley got bopped. We got X. Turn around, Michael Grayson, first catch of his career. He looked a little nervous spinning around to catch that one, but I'm glad he held on. First and goal, 40 seconds left. A.J. Nichols got caught on the old lineman. Not going to waste the timeout because we're still trying to kill the clock. Banking on Daniel Sanders to beat that guy over there. Or Kenny Doherty across the middle. Now we're going to call a timeout. Ten seconds left, third and goal. Fullback dive did not work earlier. So I'm going to try to go to the toss here to Marcus Hawley. We got one block, we got two, and we got the touchdown. Perfectly executed drive, exactly what we set out to do there. Look at Andre Avery firing up his teammates from the bench. That's a team player. Hail Mary at the end of the half. Swat that down, excellent job, Mike. It was 1v3 back there at the half. 20 to 17 right now, we're up, and we get the ball first to start the next half. Hand off to Holly. Got some blocks, corner brags him down. Oh, we're gonna scramble here. Or do we have B? Across his body, yeah, that's a very difficult throw. Not surprised it was inaccurate. We got Sanders over here, they didn't cover him. Shoves off one guy, he's still going. Oh no, animations. Oh, I thought he was gonna score. 48 yards for Daniel Sanders. At the perfect moment. Harris still going. Nine yard run for the receiver. Do a simple handoff up the gut. We got some good blocks. He's still going. What the? <laughs> kind of glitched up on my old lineman there. Got some extra yards. Oh, this is going to be a run for Ken Burks. Not able to get to the end zone. Got tripped up. We get the blocks cut to the outside. Can't break it off. Dan Vessio could not get the space we needed be another fourth and goal. Several times throughout this game, we've had to settle for field goals. Now we're up by six. Ah, uh, come on, Austin. You read it wrong. Oh, we tripped on the line. This guy's got a huge hole. Come on, Will Smith. Get there. Chad tackled him through his teammates. That was a little glitchy. I'm glad we stopped him. I'm run committing up the middle. Yeah, we got him this time. Can't run the same play twice against the Pandas and expect to win. They're cutting to the end zone. Oh, Will Smith, I thought he was going to get the pick. He almost missed it. Almost got in there to block it. Field goal is good. So now we're only up by three. Oh, what a block from the fullback. Thought that was going to be it. Just needed one more block. Oh, come on, guys. we got to block him. 78. We are not getting the second level blocks right now, and it's killing us. Oh, I'm going to try to run around, pick it up with Ken Burks on the ground. Thought I was going to have some space there on the sidelines. Ken Burks scrambled one time, and he is still tired. We're just doing handoffs now. Here goes Dan Vessio. To me, he seems like the way more explosive running back. We need to give this guy more carries. 69, what do you do? Just gonna kiss him and let him tackle me? That was terrible. 
heading into the fourth quarter. We're holding on to a three-point lead, trying to extend it, but we're moving the ball very slowly. Clutch skill has been activated. Has it been activated for them? I don't think so, so that's good news for us. Let's hit the running back here. Oh, barely caught it. Got lucky we got yards at all on that play. I don't see anybody. Quarterback, keeper, and he fumbles it. Defense has got it, and he's got space. 64 saved our butts. That could have been a touchdown. Didn't see anybody open. It was third and long, so I just decided to take off, and I paid the price. Don't think I really had room to slide either, so that, that came back to bite me. That is not good. That means we got to get a huge stop from the defense. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on, Mike. Ankle tackle. Jeez, this running back is killing us. We got over 100 yards on the game. Slant route. Thought we were going to be there for that. This one's going out of bounds. We had great coverage for like the first time today. Nobody open, and we get the first sack of the game. Oh, he fell down, gets back up, and manages to tackle the quarterback. That is lucky. This is a pretty long field goal, and this is to tie the game. Let's see if the kicker has the strength to make it. Kick is up. It's a little short. I'm going to return it. Justin Thomas with a cut. Justin Thomas. Justin Thomas cuts back again. I wanted the kick six crap. Thought we were going to get it. Justin Thomas has been absolutely electric in the return game. If we got a kick six right there, I'd go in, I would have gone wild. This is a keeper for the quarterback. He broke off the running back and the quarterback. And now Ken Burks is down. Yikes. Now it's time to bring in Andre Avery. He is the higher rated quarterback. A lot of people wanted him to start. It's time for him to show the Panda Nation what he can do. We're going to go toss this one to Daniel Sanders deep. Oh, almost picked off. Uh, I sat there too long in the pocket. And I just kept running backwards because I didn't see anybody. Ken Burks dislocated his wrist, but he will return soon. What a beast. Now running back. Pops off one. Rory Austin breaking off the D line to make that tackle. You now they're going to run it. Manning got freaking trucked again. This running back is so good. Oh, I tried to pop him right as he caught it. And the whiffed. Quarterback keeper, they fooled me. Finally, Reggie Manning makes a good tackle. Oh, Taylor Smart, you missed. He's just not good in coverage. Look at all. Tackle Ryan Covington, throwing him out of bounds. Their best receiver once again. How many yards does this guy have? We got to send some more pressure. This guy's just sitting at home in the backfield. It's a screen pass. Eddie Foster is way too slow to get there. Once again, they get a first. I don't want to see their thotties at a moment like this. Come on, guys. We got their backup running backs in, so we don't have to worry about him. Let's go defense! Way to step up, push him back some more. It's been a long drive, but I got a lot of backups in now, so it's gonna be tough to stop him here. Oh, it's a screen pass. Mills missed. Covington missed, but we stopped him. First and goal. We've been great at red zone defense. Shut him down, dragged him into the end zone. That's not what you wanna see. They're gonna take the lead here with under two minutes to go. Another returnable kick for Justin Thomas. Oh, dang it. Not much here. And he's down. So many injuries. It makes me sad. Plenty of time to drive down and score. So I'm not in that big of a hurry. But we got to make sure we get the yards. We're just going to go to the drag route. Cut up field. The tight end. Good job. Dan Vessio getting the first and a lot more. Ugh. R1. Could not set my feet. Oh no, he's breaking in. I had two guys on the corner too. Gotta open my eyes, man. This is gonna be a big play. Third down and 10. Okay, we got the tight end set and throw. Great catch, we're still alive. 
got R1 tipped at the line. Harris could not come back to catch it. At least we got some time to rest. Justin Thomas has a mild concussion. He's out for the game. So, so much for our return game trying to win it for us. Wrong button. Get there, Harris. Great catch. There was a linebacker breathing down his neck, and he ran in front of him to make a beautiful catch. Ken Burks is way too tired, so we brought in Andre Avery. Here we go, Daniel Sanders, a great catch. And we're still driving, first and 10, 45 seconds to go. No mistakes, no mistakes. We still got two timeouts. Marcus Hawley, he's got the space. He goes into the end zone. Probably left too much time on the clock. We're up by three, 40 seconds to go. Probably more time than I wanted to leave him with, but at least we're winning right now. That guy's wide open on the corner. That's not what you like to see. Dragged him out of bounds. That'll stop the clock. Oh, they actually called a timeout because apparently he was inbounds. He's cut across the middle. Whoa! How was that not picked off? Mike was right there. They blow their second timeout, 29 seconds. I'm not trying to go to overtime with these guys. Across the middle, Willie Green! That could have been a game-winning interception, and he drops it. Third and three. We need a huge play here. Going to sit some extra pressure with here with Connor Hoffman. I got blocked. Willie Green got beat. They're in field goal range now. Oh, no. We might be going OT. We got to worry about trying to not lose the game first. We sacked him. That's Aaron Hayes. That makes this field goal a lot harder, too. Their kicker missed it from this distance last time. And with one second left, they're going to try the Hail Mary. Everybody back. Come on, Mike. What are you doing on this side? Cover this side of the field. Over to the corner. Swat this one down. Oh! Oh, my God. This freaking pinballed around forever. But he dropped it. No good. And the Pandas win the game. That was a horrifying end to the game. The sack pushing him just out of field goal range. Once again, defense coming up huge to win us this game late. Gotta love the ESPN Classic games. Especially when we almost lost on a last second Hail Mary. That made my heart stop a little bit. Ken Burks has been crazy efficient. 13 of 20. 203 yards, no touchdowns, but no picks. Andre Avery came in for three passes. He was one for three, 19 yards. I still think I have way more success with Ken Burks. But it's got to be hitting Andre Avery's confidence, especially when he's a 93 overall. I'm afraid he might transfer soon. Marcus Hawley had 15 carries, 70 yards, and two touchdowns on the ground. Receiving Daniel Sanders was by far the leader. Six catches, 126 yards. What won us this game was the return game. And of course, the defense. Nine tackles for Will Smith. Two tackles for loss for Connor Hoffman. Three sacks on the game including the game-winning sack, in my eyes, for Aaron Hayes, pushing them out of field goal range late. Rory Alston had one, and so did Eddie Foster. Connor Hoffman, of course, had the pick six. You can't forget about that. That's a huge one. Eddie Foster also forced the fumble, which was recovered by Thomas Moore. And technically, Justin Thomas had a fumble recovery, but it was just the missed field goal. Justin Thomas continues to be crazy efficient in the kick return game. Six returns, 170 yards, with a long of 50 Continues to set us up in great field position. He's basically the handicap for our kind of mediocre offense right now. It's another week where their offense has more yards than our offense, but we still manage to win games because we limit our turnovers and we manage to make plays on defense. Their quarterback was lighting us up. 298 passing yards, one touchdown, and of course he threw that pick six to Connor Hoffman. Rushing into things, Paul Anderson, who's only a junior, had 131 rushing yards and one touchdown. Guy is a stud. Well, look at that, number nine Bama in a shootout with FCS. How about that? Five new recruits ready to visit. Let's get him scheduled as soon as possible. Oh, we're about to play Auburn, who's now 0-2, yet is still in the top 16. They lost to number two LSU and number 18 Mississippi State. That makes a lot more sense, but they also got freaking blown out by Mississippi State. Oh, wow, the Heisman watch. Our running back, Marcus Hawley, is on the list. It's actually kind of surprising. Felt like his season hasn't been that good. Through three games, he has 219 rushing yards and four touchdowns. Eddie Foster gets Defensive Player of the Week after getting that huge sack and forced fumble against Nebraska. Right now, Ken Burks is 13th in the country in passing leaders. Marcus Hawley is 53rd in rushing. Receiving leaders, Daniel Sanders is at number two. But the guy in front of him has 
503 receiving yards. That is a crap ton. Tackle leaders, you know, I mean, the Pandas always dominate the tackle leaders. Sack leaders, Aaron Hayes is at number 33 with two. Interception leaders, we're all the way at 105 with only one interception. Ken Burks has been wild this season. A 210 quarterback rating, four touchdowns, 600 passing yards, no interceptions. And you know me, I throw a lot of picks usually. This guy is only a freshman. So much potential with this kid. I do feel bad for Andre Avery because he's not a bad player, but I just have not played well with him myself. Maybe we'll do a storyline where he decides to transfer or something. I don't know. So far this season, Marcus Holly, 219 rushing yards and four touchdowns. Dan Vessio, he's averaging 5.5 yards a carry with 106 yards total, but no touchdowns. Maybe we need to get him more carries. He's got 20 less than Marcus Holly. And receiving leaders, it's not even close. Daniel Sanders has been a beast. He's averaging 124 receiving yards a game. That was a great win for the Pandas. And now we improve to 3-0 on the season. And looking at Auburn, they are ranked horribly in a bunch of categories. So I'm not really sure what to expect when we play them. But they are still ranked, and we're still playing on the road at their stadium. I actually used to be a student at Auburn, so this one's a little bit more personal. Anyways, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. You're all legends in my book, and as for me, I am Drew Morris, big old Drewski, not the expert. And I'll see all you guys in my next video. Peace. That's Mike. Let's go get the pick six. Right after his injury. And he's going to go all the way. The legend of Mike. I can't pronounce his last name. Continue.